All right, we're recording. We are live now. All right, hello everybody. Uh, hey y'all, this is Whitney Nicely, and you're here to find out how to find hot off-market properties today without a huge marketing budget. And we're gonna zoom through this just as fast as I can. It's my goal today that you're gonna learn a whole lot of information that you can go out and use immediately. Like, not tomorrow or have to wait on a bunch of stuff. Like, I want you to get off this webinar and immediately start changing your life and getting hot seller leads coming into your inbox immediately, all right? So let me know if you have any questions as we go through this, and I will try to answer them at the end. Speaking of the end, if you stay all the way until the end, I'm going to give a free seven day lead challenge. Okay. So for staying to the end, I'm going to give you my free seven day lead challenge on Facebook. And this has brought in so many different leads, so many hot off market properties for so many of my students. And you're just absolutely, absolutely going to love the free seven day lead challenge. All right, now what makes me different is because I actually invest in houses. I am a real estate broker who does more investing than she does listing. And that makes me totally different from most of the agents, most of the investors. And I'm also one who thinks wholesaling is a bad word because frankly, you just have to work too hard. And I, I like to make money in my sleep. Who doesn't? All right, so the only way to do that is to be a landlord and be an investor. And having a license or not having a license just really isn't that important when you figure out how to solve your seller's problem and then you have a job forever. All right, and like I said, this is a picture of me. My name is Whitney Nicely. I am the queen of weird real estate. Somebody's trying to come in. Okay. I am the queen of weird real estate. Most of my investments are in East Tennessee, some in Georgia. I've done 54 creative financing deals in the last three years. And let me tell you, those are fun, 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 fun. But I'm not here to teach you about lease options or owner financing. This is all about marketing. As I said before, I am a broker. I'm also an auctioneer. I'm a general contractor. Y'all, I am licensed out my ears to be able to do real estate. Currently, I have 18 houses, 19 apartments, and seven chunks of land. Um, I bought one house last week, which is a really fun story. Bought it for $3,000, and I've already sold it for $12,000 on lease options. So there's tons of money in real estate if you know how to get your marketing in line to get your sellers in line. All right, now, over the last several years, I have done a lot of things right. You know, like I told you, those 54 deals and I got to keep 18 of those houses. That's some good things that I've done. That gives me some residual income. That gives me some money every month that I don't have to work for. But y'all, I could talk all day long about the things that I've done wrong, like paying all cash out of my pocket for houses or like not inspecting houses before I bought them. I've also spent tons of money on crazy things like, oh wait. So after doing this for eight years, I got to tell you that real estate is not complicated. I say that all the time that people Agents, wholesalers, some sellers, in fact, they make it complicated because they feel like it has to be, and it's just not, okay? Real estate is really easy. You have a seller that wants to sell a property. You have a buyer that wants to buy a property. Now all we got to do is make a deal. But in order to get to the deal, I've developed a two simple question strategy to close any deal. It's just two questions. That's all you need. You don't need this huge, big, long script. You need these two easy questions to bring the deals in. And I found a way to find houses, find motivated sellers without feeling like a slimy, <laughs> slimy or a sleazy used car salesman. And you can plug this into almost any market. And I say almost any market because if you tell me that this is not going to work in your market, you're absolutely right. I will not argue with you. 
if you say it can't be done, then you're right. It will never be able to be done. And I'm not going to try to convince you otherwise. But if you'll pay attention and watch these next couple slides, I've got examples from all over the country as to how this works and why this works in every market. Now I did have to go about all of this the hard way. And since you're here with me today, you get to cheat and learn about it the easy way. So real quick, what is the hard way? This is all the stuff, this is all the crap that I had to go through to be able to learn these tactics, to be able to make the money, and you don't have to do this, okay? I paid for real estate school. I paid $20,000 for the weekend boot camps. I paid for marketing materials that didn't work. I mean, who wants a magnet these days anyway? Who wants a billboard ad? Nobody's paying attention to that stuff. I've paid for the big marketing materials that did not bring me any leads. I've sponsored the kids' ball teams. No leads. I've paid for all of these mistakes. I have paid for all of these missed opportunities. And I've even paid to have a celebrity's name attached to me so that when I went out to buy houses, I thought I needed some collateral. And it's just wrong, guys. You don't need to do this stuff. You don't need a real estate license. If you have one, that's fine. But you don't need to go to these huge weekend boot camps. You don't need these old, you know, 30-year-old marking material, materials. You need ways that work. And I'm about to show you, if you want, the easy way to find these leads. So tell me in the chat, do you want the easy ways? Do you want it the easy way or do you want it the hard way? <laughs> I know you and I know you want the easy way. So again, in the past 24 months, I've closed over seven figures of residential real estate and I didn't use my license once, okay? All those 54 deals, not using my license, not finding MLS properties, not going after expireds. These were all homegrown, organic fun leads now I do have to tell you that I I am NOT a get-rich-quick scheme if you don't put the work in it's not gonna work for you I did all of these steps I still do all of these steps when I'm looking for sellers okay so you're gonna have to do the work if you want it to work for you but it really doesn't take a lot of effort or energy so without further ado let's talk about the three secrets to finding hot off-market properties. The first secret is that you already know enough people on and off Facebook to keep four pipelines full, and that is not a typo. I know you know enough people out there with a real estate problem that they would love to get rid of, and you could keep your pipeline and three others full if you implement these steps. You can also turn one little letter into a money-making machine. Really, guys, that's all it's going to take. Several of my students, when they start implementing this strategy in secret number two, they kind of lay off all the others because they get flooded with leads with the second secret here. And finally, this may be kind of shocking, but your friends and family want you to prove yourself before they start to promote you. And I'm going to tell you how to get around that, okay, so that you don't have to suffer through four or five, six years of regular real estate just before your friends and family start sending you the leads. I'll get you there. Don't worry. All right. So secret number one, you already know enough people on and off Facebook to keep four pipelines full. And that is so true. And I don't care if you have 100 friends a thousand friends or if you've got 10,000 followers on Instagram you have enough people out there but you have to get them to work for you all right now there's something like 5 billion people on Facebook and guess what your sellers are included in that number like seriously we're all on Facebook okay everybody's on Facebook well, my husband isn't on Facebook, but even my dad is on Facebook, okay? Why are we there? Because we're nosy. And sometimes because we care 
but mostly because we want to passive aggressively be involved in other people's lives. We want to see what people from high school are doing. We want to see what people from church are doing. We want to see what's going on. We want to get the news, the latest and greatest updates right there on our phone without really having to exert any energy. Okay. That's why we're on Facebook. Now, you have to start to work Facebook in your favor if you want to start getting leads from Facebook. And I'm telling you, it doesn't take 24 hours. It doesn't even take six hours. Sometimes it just takes 30 minutes on Facebook and you're already wasting 30 minutes a day on Facebook anyway. I know you are. So why don't you make Facebook work for you? It's a free tool. I'm not talking about boosted posts. I'm not talking about Facebook ads. I'm talking about organic traffic from your friends list. But you have to train them, okay? You have to train your friends and family on Facebook to know how to help you, to know what you're looking for. And the way you do that is you get them involved in your post. And you have to entertain them a little bit. Okay, while you're training people, it helps if you can entertain them a little bit. So I have some examples. This is a house that I bought. I bought this a couple summers ago. And the cool thing about this house was there was a lawnmower in the kitchen. Why is there a lawnmower in the kitchen? Because it was the only place that the roof wasn't leaking. Okay, like this is a house that I bought. And to entertain my people and show them that I buy houses, I put this picture up and I said, hey, what would y'all do? Would you rehab this kitchen? Would you leave it? What would you do first? And they were like, well, I don't know, but I'll give you 150 bucks for the lawnmower. <laughs> All right, fine. Or other people would say, well, the first thing I would do is get the lawnmower out. Why is the lawnmower in the kitchen? You have to give them something to talk about. You have to train them. You have to show them. You have to prove it to them that you are actually out there looking at houses. You're buying houses or you're listing houses, but you have to keep giving them something to talk about. You have to keep training them. You have to ask, you have to ask open-ended questions. Okay. What would you do in this kitchen? Everybody watches HGTV. They all want to have a little bit of that in their life. So if you provide that, people that you don't even know are going to start commenting on your pictures. All right. And that's how you train them. You entertain them to train them, to show you, to prove that you do this day in and day out. All right, y'all, I just went to pick up paint. No big deal. But this is an example of a day in the life picture. All right. I put this picture up and I could have said, I'm going to pick up paint for my latest flip today. Anybody have a house they want to get rid of quickly? Or I could have said, hey, guess what color is in this paint? Or I could have said, you know, I have a go-to paint color that I use in all of my flips. Can you guess what it is? There's so many different ways that you can use this picture and talk about a day in your life. And you can recycle this picture, you know, five or 10 or 15 times if you want to. You could come up with 18 different questions about Sherwin-Williams or about paint or about, you know, do I use flat or eggshell or do you know the difference? There's so many different ways that you can use one picture and talk about your life and keep it wrapped around real estate. You can also use humor. And I see a lot of people doing this and it drives me kind of crazy when they share the cat videos that has nothing to do with real estate. Find some real estate humor, okay? I bought houses in East Tennessee. This is an outhouse. And if you don't know what an outhouse is, it's kind of like a porta potty before porta potties, okay? It's an outside toilet. So I said, hey, y'all looked at this house today. Does this technically qualify as a 2 1 or a 2 2? Because there's a garden hose, we could have an outside shower. I mean, when I was a kid, we mama hosed us down when we got in the mud. So technically, I guess we could have a 2 2, right? People loved it, okay? I mean, for like the next six months, and I only put this post up once, for the next six months, people would see me in the grocery store or at church or at a ball game or somewhere, and they'd be like, girl, what did you do with the outhouse house? I have got to go see that. I haven't seen an outhouse in years. I'm like, well, I buy outhouses, so if you know somebody that's got one, send them my way, okay? But this is a real estate piece of humor. 
This is entertaining people and training them that, yes, I buy houses, but it also gives them some meat on the bone. So instead of just saying, I need listings, I need listings, I'm looking for motivated sellers, motivated sellers, motivated sellers, I show examples. I get them talking. That way, in the back of their mind, they're thinking about me all the time and that I buy houses. So before we get off Facebook, don't leave money on the table with Facebook, all right? Likes are cheap, but comments are golden. If you start putting stuff up on Facebook and people like it, like my mom, she likes everything I put up on Facebook, even if it's kind of controversial, she just likes it, okay? But if you put comments, if you can start getting comments and then you can start getting people to share it, that's when the money really starts to trickle in, okay? It's like ripples in a pond. If you put a post up and it's you know public to be shared to everybody and your friend comments on it, then it shows up on all of her friends' news feeds. Then her friends are seeing this post that you buy houses or you're looking for you know pink kitchens to flip or pink bathrooms or you know green shag carpet or whatever it is that you're looking for, it starts to ripple out, okay? So you threw one pebble in the pond and it went out to all your friends. But then your friends started commenting and then it gets shared out to their friends and their friends and their friends. If they share it to their friends, like when I was buying a bunch of houses and I would put some of these posts up, I taught my mom to share instead of like. All right, that's how you can force something to go even semi-viral. If you can get two or three friends to share your I buy houses or I need listings post and it's kind of entertaining and they don't feel scummy by sharing it, money is going to flow in in the form of private messages, uh, comments, people calling you, they're going to see you on Craigslist, they're going to see you other places and you're just going to be everywhere all of a sudden without spending any money on boosted posts or ads. This is all good organic Facebook traffic. Um, one of my students was in Oregon and she says that she posted a picture of an ugly house, which is one of the uh, examples that I give you in a mom's list on Facebook, like a mom's group. She asked for leads and in 30 minutes, she had six appointments to go see houses. Okay. That's what I said. Like this is stuff that you can implement immediately and start getting leads immediately. You're going to start seeing leads. In Georgia, this is actually an agent who's in my group program, and she said that, you know, she's found an owner finance deal right from a Facebook post because she was entertaining her friends. One of her friends commented on it. One of their friends saw it, sent her a message, and she bought the house with owner financing. It was never on the market. All of these leads are coming to you before they call agents or investors or wholesalers. Off-market leads are the best, guys, the absolute best. So if Facebook is the best marketing tool in your pocket and you're just standing around wasting it, you're on Facebook. We're all on Facebook. We're there to be nosy. We're there to help each other. We're there to get leads. We're there to make money, all right? And I've broken it down into 12 easy templates. All you have to do is plug in your pictures. You can use mine when you're getting started, but it's better because it's better if you can use your pictures because houses just look different, okay? An East Tennessee house is not gonna look like an Arizona house. A California house is not gonna look like a New York house, okay? Houses just look different. So all you gotta do is plug in your pictures. I'll give you the examples of what I wanna see. And then you copy and paste the words. Bada bing, bada boom, we're done. Well, then you gotta send me a PM with your success story because I know you're gonna get them. All right, so that's, the first secret, and that's how we're gonna get these hot off-market leads with Facebook. Secret number two is that you can turn one little letter into a money-making machine. Now, I had, I was in a uh, real estate group the other day, I don't remember which one it was, but they were basically saying, what is a yellow letter? They were asking for what's the best way to get leads, and I said yellow letters, and two agents were like, what's a yellow letter? Well, it's a letter on a yellow piece of paper and it says, hey, my name is Whitney and I wanna buy your house at, call me if you wanna get rid of it quickly, thanks, here's my phone number. That's it. And I'm telling you, 
these things, bring in the money because snail mail is not dead. I know that sounds weird, but it's true. Snail mail is not dead. Like it is one of the best ways to get leads because you can send these to a targeted list. Your sellers that we're going to send this letter to, they live out of state. Maybe they've forgotten about this house or they've grown to hate their property manager. And I don't know if anybody's ever told you this or not, but some people just don't trust agents, especially if they live out of state and out of town. They have been waiting on you to help them out of this rut. These are the reasons, these are the five reasons that yellow letters work. And I mean they work like wildfire. It doesn't take many before you're stopping the flow so that you can get caught up on the leads that are coming in. These little boogers work. All you need is this letter template. You need to know which size envelope to use because this is really the secret sauce is the envelope. And then you need a phone number. It can be your cell phone number. It can be your office phone number. You can get a Google phone number. As long as you follow this template that I'm going to give you and put it in the right size envelope. Well, yeah, then you can turn this stack of letters into a stack of money. Now this one is not something that you can do immediately. This one does take about a, a week before you can start seeing the effects of it. But in the meantime, you're going to be doing the seven day lead challenge on Facebook and collecting those leads also. So now you're going to have two systems out in the world going after hot off market sellers. All right. And the best list that I found are free and clear absentee owners. You can send it out to probates, but I don't really like dealing with dead people. So I, I don't do that one as much as I do the free and clear and absentee owners. You can select zip codes. You can just send it to specific counties. You can do this very cheap. Like I'm going to teach you two different ways to do this. One is going to be very cheap where, you know, basically the postage stamp is going to be the most expensive part of the system. And then I'm going to show you how if you don't have a lot of time and you got some money laying around, I'll show you how you can do this and not have any real manpower in it. I guess is the best way to say. I'll show you who to use and how to go about getting these yellow letters done for you instead of you doing them and making your own little print shop. Now, the reason yellow letters work is because of the thrill of the chase, okay? Postcards don't work because all the information is just right there on the postcard. And I get these postcards from time to time and they just feel kind of scammy. They've usually got an 800 number on it and they go straight in file 13, which is the trash bin. You've got to develop a system to make these letters work in your behalf so that you can go out and talk to as many sellers as possible and keep them entertained. You got to train these sellers from the beginning that you're busy, you're out here working and you want to buy their house, you want to list their house, you want to do whatever with their house, but you've got to keep the thrill of the chase in it. This is from Tennessee, and this is one of my students, Clay. He was trying Zillow and um, Craigslist and Facebook, and he was doing all sorts of different things, but then he started putting the yellow letters into place, and it says it flipped the script on him. Okay, suddenly people are calling him. They are finding him. They're inviting him out to their house. He is the only person that they're talking to. And I talked to him last week on Tuesday, and he was kind of bummed because his letters hadn't hit yet. But by Friday, he had four appointments and he had four contracts out on houses. From Tuesday to Friday, he went from nothing to four, all from the yellow letters. So in this, I'm going to give you the simple solution. It's just a one page template. I'm going to give you the envelope size that you need. I'm going to teach you how to get a return address stamp. That's going to save you hours and hours and hours and keep your hand from cramping up. Also, if you are an agent, there's a phrase that I want you to put on these because you have to disclose that you're an agent all the time. There is a phrase and I've tried several, several, several phrases. There's one phrase that'll keep your phone ringing 
and then all the others are going to stop your flow and it's going to be a wasted exercise. So you've got to have a disclosure on there, but you've got to have the right disclosure on there. All right. The third secret is that your friends and family don't really want to help you until you've proven yourself. And this is that whole, you need experience before we're going to give you any opportunities. You remember your first boss told you that you kept getting denied for job after job because you didn't have any experience. It's crazy. I know, but your family feels the same way. So I've been there and I know what it feels like. This third strategy that I have is going to take you from waiting and waiting and waiting to boom, getting leads. Your friends and family are going to be bragging about how they know you and telling everybody they know. And then it's on like Donkey Kong. Okay. Like you can't just go from no experience to tons of experience overnight unless you get one of my buttons and it is a button actual button that you wear on your shirt that says I buy houses or ask me about real estate or tell me your real estate sins. Okay. That's what we want people to do. We want it to be the icebreaker that starts the conversation. And also, I don't know which psychologist said this, but people need seven touches. They need to see it, feel it, breathe it, and then put it on repeat. Sometimes they need to ride it. So this button is going to give you those seven touches without you having to say anything okay they see it they read it it goes in their mind and then they usually ask it back out so they say oh you buy houses well yes i do i sure do and these buttons are going to give you confidence you know kind of like a cop when you get out of your car and you're going to look at houses and you've got this big button on that says i buy houses you get the same kind of feeling, the same kind of swagger in your steps that a cop does when he puts on his badge or that a firefighter does when he puts on his badge. You know, doctors, they wear their badges and they just feel bigger and stronger and professional because they're letting the whole world know what they do. And you buy houses or you list houses. So what this thing does is it grabs attention and I've got shirts, I've got jackets, I've got hoodies. Y'all, nothing works like the button. Nothing. I wore the button to the grocery store one day and the lady at the deli counter, she's cutting up turkey for me. And she was like, oh, you buy houses? And I said, yes, ma'am, I do. And she said, well, I've got my mom's house. It's on 15 acres and there's a little two bedroom, one bath house on it. Do you want to look at it? And I said, absolutely. So my mom and I went that evening when she got off at the grocery store and we gave her an offer that day and we bought her house. It's a precious little house on a Creek. There is 15 acres up behind it. It's amazing. This also happened to me at the bank. I walked into the bank, I'm wearing my button and I said, you know, I need to deposit this or I need to cash a check. I don't even remember what I was doing at the bank, but you know, bank stuff. And the lady, the teller was like, Oh, you buy houses. I'm getting a divorce. I need to get rid of my house. It's not listed. Do you want to come look at it? I said, absolutely. What time do you get off? And she said, well, I got a break in 30 minutes. We could run home and then I could come back. And I said, I'll wait. We went and looked at her house. Uh, husband, ex-husband, whatever it was, he decided that he didn't like my offer. So it didn't end up being a deal. But the lead was there. The action was there. The opportunity was there. And if I had not been wearing my button, neither one of those two leads would have come in. This is one of my students out of California, and this is where we get into the seven touches, okay? Glenn started with me at the 1st of January, and the first thing that he did was order a button, and he has worn his button every day. He's a, um, he, he works for the city in Los Angeles County, so he can't wear his button to work, but as soon as he gets off work and he puts on regular clothes or he goes to church or he goes you know, to the kids' ball games or whatever, he puts his button on. So for seven weeks, he wore this button. I mean, his kids are making fun of him. His wife's ducking her head, but he wore his button. He was proud of it. And on the seventh week, one of the church members came up to him and said, Hey, Glenn, I've got two houses in Akron, Ohio that I don't want. Will you buy them from me? Will you take them away from me? He's in California and he got two houses in Ohio just because he was wearing his button loud and proud every week to church. These leads are hot, y'all. They're off market. 
no agents involved, no other wholesalers involved, no other investor even knows that these deals are out there. These three secrets are going to make you the go-to person in your market to buy houses, to list houses, or to sell houses. So let me ask you a question real quick, and you can put these answers in the chat bar if you want to. Are you willing to look a little bit silly for $10,000? Because I'm going to be honest with you here. These buttons are cheesy and that's why they work. They're twice as effective as a name badge. It's going to cost you 15 to 20 bucks, but you're going to be able to make 10,000 or more just from wearing these buttons. All right. My mom's little yellow house that we bought, we got it for like half price. The equity that we got immediately just because I was wearing a button was worth wearing that button. I have the phrase, I have the font, I have the size. I've actually got two different options and I went ahead and ordered, I've got them down here. Um, I've got a hundred of these bad little buttons that I will mail you, all right? I will send this to you so that you have it immediately and it'll start working on your behalf. You don't have to go out and hunt down where to find these. So would you agree that this has been good? So far, learned a lot. Everybody got some ideas, know what they're going to go do. Now, I can't cover everything in one little webinar. I had a retreat last week. It was a two-day retreat, and I still didn't get through everything I wanted to say. So, if you want to get to know everything, and if you act fast, I'm going to give you a very special deal, okay? And this is today's deal. You have to act fast though, because old habits die hard. I know you've been trying regular marketing. You've been doing the same thing for 30 years. You've been doing the same thing that your mama did for her, th her 30 years in real estate. You've been trying to do that in your 10 years. Old habits die hard. I get it. But guys, you got to keep up with the times, okay? Facebook, yellow letters, and these buttons are getting you ahead of everybody in your market. And you're going to be thrilled. You're absolutely going to love the leads that are going to be pouring in when you start doing this because it's like cracking open the piggy bank and all sorts of money just coming into your inbox, coming into your Facebook, coming into your phone all the time. It's just money coming from all sorts of directions with all these leads. So again, I've got the Facebook strategy, the yellow letter plan, the buttons blueprint, and all of this is at 2500 bucks. So let me tell you who this has worked for. I showed you Christina. She is a real estate agent in the Atlanta market, which is piping hot, okay? It's working for her. I've got wholesalers who were preparing to go back to their nine to five, but they had one last hope of landing a deal. That guy's name is Alleman. He's also in Georgia. And since the retreat, he's gotten two houses under contract because he started doing the yellow letters. He's gotten more active with his Facebook and he got a button, all right? This is working for newbie investors who are thirsty for their first closing and is working for the established investors who are looking to expand. This is going to work for you. This is going to work for anybody and everybody who gets in and gives it a try an honest to goodness try. Like I said earlier, if you tell me it won't work in your area, I believe you. So I had two options. I could make this as cheap as possible, but then, you know, I hate that because when you get something really cheap, you get to the end of it and you're like, oh, well, now I feel like I need more. So I didn't do that. I'm just going to tell you. I went with the second option and I have got videos. There's probably five or six hours of videos of training, word by word, examples, really getting into the weeds of what you need to do, how you need to find these people, what you need to say. So I'll just tell you, I went with the second option. But. I'm going to give you some bonuses. Of course, I'm going to give you some bonuses. Do y'all know what a bandit sign is? Because it's those little road signs that are at every four-way stop or they're at the four lane at a red light and they say, I buy houses or I buy houses cash or I can close quickly or mom buys houses or call my sister. She buys houses or, you know, whatever it is, whatever that phrase is, that's a bandit sign. And I got to tell you that I had a bandit sign out on a four lane road at the red light in town. And I was actually advertising for another house that I had. But anyway, my signs all say Whitney buys houses. So this gentleman called me up. Um, Charles, Chuck, Charlie. I can't think of what he, name he goes by. 
But anyway, he called me and he was like, hey, you buy houses? And I said, yeah. And he said, I saw your sign out here at the red lot and I got a house that I got to get rid of. I'll be at your office in 10 minutes. Do you have the paperwork signed? Will you have the paperwork so I can sign it? And I was like, hold on, man. Uh, what's the address? Can I go look at it? How much do you owe on it? You know, what? Whoa, slow down. And he was like, no, your sign says that you buy houses and I need to get rid of this one. So I don't care what kind of plan you have. I'm going to come give you the keys to my house and sign whatever paperwork you have for me to sign. I'll be there in 10 minutes. I know where you are. And I was just like, okay. All right. These people are in your area and they want to get rid of houses quickly. Now, whether you took this as a listing, whether you took this as an assignment contract or whether you bought this house, I bought this house. It's on Lowry Loop Road. And in two weeks after he dumped the keys in my lap, I had somebody move into this house and give me 5,800 bucks. And between the difference of my payment to him and what I rent this house, I get about 250 a month. My payment is like six. 15, 618 or something. And I rent this house out for, um, for 850. So not quite 250 bucks. But the point of this is the bandit signs work. This guy just came and dumped these keys in my lap, signed my contract and he was gone. The second bonus I'm going to give you is Craigslist on autopilot. Now this is super cool. And I actually have to well, I'll show you. This is one of the houses that I bought off Craigslist because I had it on autopilot. If you haven't tried looking for for sale by owners in Craigslist, if you're having trouble sleeping at night, you should do that because it'll put you to sleep like immediately. It is this deep, dark wormhole of bad leads and you can spend two or three or four hours just sifting through Craigslist so that by the time you find some good leads, you don't even want to call them anymore. So I figured out how to put this on autopilot. And this is one of the houses. This is actually a triplex that we bought in Morristown, Tennessee, because of my Craigslist strategy. We bought this thing for sale by owner. The sellers were in Florida. They didn't want to come up. They didn't want to deal with it anymore. They didn't want to be long distance investors. They couldn't even remember how they ended up with this thing, but they knew they didn't want it anymore. And we bought it for 92000 the day it appraised, it raised for 122. So we got it for 30,000 under appraisal. We were making about $500 a month when we bought it. And now I've raised the rent $150 on each unit. So there's 600. So we're making about $1,100 a month on this property because I found it on Craigslist. And let me show you real quick. Let me, uh, let me see if I can get this mouse to work. Oh, wait, 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 go back, go back. Okay, so let me show you what the Craigslist on autopilot looks like. I hope I didn't clear this off yesterday. Okay, so today is April the 5th. There's one, two, three. Well, like 10 leads that came straight from Craigslist on April the 4th. These are leads that all I got to do is click on these and call them. I got to set it up once and then I get leads from Craigslist every single day. All right, let's see here. April the 3rd, I had mm, maybe only eight or nine or 10 leads then. But still in two days, I've got 22 leads off Craigslist that I didn't have to go hunt for. That's some cool stuff, y'all. So I'm going to give you both of these bonuses. Now we're up to $4,500 in value after we add the bandit sign system and the Craigslist setup. So tell me, what is one deal worth to you? I mean, if you could get one more house, could you make an extra $5,000? Could you make an extra $10,000, $25,000? How much are you willing to pay? How much have you been paying for marketing that's not working? But what would you give to get one motivated seller a month? One seller who just comes by and just dumps their keys in your lap, signs whatever you want, and is completely cooperative every week. What would you do to get this every day? All right, because I've got these leads in my inbox every single day. I've got Facebook messages all day, every day of people that want to get rid of houses. I've got the system ready to go for you. And you can see why other people are paying me big bucks to do this. 
So let me ask you one final time. If you're able to list, wholesale, or buy one extra house every week just using these strategies, then this little investment is going to pay off for the rest of your career. Because, guys, Facebook's not going anywhere. Uh, the USPS is not going anywhere. And bandit signs, you might be in an area where bandit signs are illegal, but we got to work around for that too. Okay. This is going to be stuff that you can use that you don't have to pay anybody else to do unless you want to, but you're going to be able to use this forever. Absolutely forever. So you can see why it's a good deal at 4,500 bucks. And I offer this for 1997 to the general public, but because you're special and because you've been here with me taking your lunch break to watch this webinar with me, I'm going to let you have it for 997 today. 997 gets you everything that we've talked about if you get started today. That is a tiny investment. I know in, I know agents that spend a thousand dollars a month just to keep their website up to date and their website's not even bringing them any leads. You need leads to get deals, to get to closing, to get to the money. These are hot off-market leads coming into your inbox every single day. I'll also let you know that for the first 10 people who get this uh, marketing package, I'm going to give you my two question close that's going to keep you ahead of the competition. Now, I'm not one that really believes in competition, but everybody uses that word. So I'm just going to go ahead and tell you how to get ahead of them. I've been sitting in a seller's living room and they have called the agent that was coming after me while I was sitting there and said, we're signing with Whitney right now. And it was because of these two simple, easy little questions that convinced them I was the right one for the job. But this is only for the first 10 people that sign up. You got to go to letsgetrich.tips, not dot com. It's letsgetrich.tips. These are my tips to help you get rich. And get go to that button, letsgetrich.tips. One thing I want to say is that other opportunities are making you feel like you're running around town with like a chicken with your head cut off. And they're really just keep keeping you from hitting those monthly goals. I see agents all the time that they're delivering pies at Thanksgiving and they're taking Easter baskets by Easter and they're, you know, doing stuff at Christmas, hoping that they get another referral. Stop the madness guys. Like some of that is okay, but you need some other ways to get out there to talk to people that you haven't met yet because those sellers need you. Those are the hot off-market properties that you need to get established, that you need to revamp up your system. This is going to help you achieve all of your monthly goals in a week. I see people all the time and they, you know, they got to talk to 40 people. You can talk to 40 people with one Facebook post. Super easy. Imagine how much faster you're going to get the leads coming in when you start implementing these systems today. So all you do is go to letsgetrich.tips. All of the videos are uploaded. There's like five hours of videos that goes really deep into the weeds so that there's no questions. But if you have any questions, then you'll have my email address. You can shoot me an email and let me know where you're stuck or what the problem is, and I'll help you get past that. Um, there's worksheets and there's examples. It's all uploaded. As soon as you put in your credit card information and pay, the next page will take you to create a username and login, and then you're off. So real quick, this is what you're getting. The Facebook strategy, the yellow letter plan, the buttons blueprint, the bandit sign system, the Craigslist setup so that it's automatic, and the two question close. Oh, don't forget, you're still here with me. I'm going to give you the seven-day lead challenge on Facebook. So there's another bonus that I haven't listed here. And I'm going to mail you one of my buttons. <laughs> this is like a win-win-win all the way around. You're going to get so much more than just $5,000 worth of value. I didn't even think about adding that in here. Whew. Okay, so let me just tell you that I'm, I'm nothing special, guys, okay? I am a trucker. I'm fourth generation entrepreneur in my family, and I figured out how to get these leads without using Facebook ads and paying Facebook a whole bunch of money, okay? Mark's got enough money. We don't need to give him any more. I started out trucking. I got my license. It was 18 months before I had my first real estate closing until I learned about lease options. And then it took me eight weeks to get my first lease option check of $15,000. So I switched over to lease options pretty fast. And I've been doing lease options 
since 2014, but it's taken me three years to develop these strategies and to know what works. You get to cheat, take the shortcut and start implementing it immediately. I'm a general contractor, but I'm not good at rebuilding walls. I like to go get my nails done. I like to be pretty. I like to wear dresses in pink. Okay. I'm not going to teach you how to do that. I'm not an attorney. I don't write legal documents. What I do is buy houses. I find hot off market properties. I have sellers calling me, begging me to come take their house. And whether I turn that into a listing, I bought it, I signed it, they don't care. They don't want to talk to anybody else but me. And I'm going to teach you how to be the go-to person in your area for all of these off-market properties. So remember, you can do it the old boring way that you've been doing it, or you can simply plug it in and go to the closings. These systems work like a top. So once again, all it is is $9.97 and go to letsgetrich.tips, letsgetrich.tips, no.com, and get signed up today. I look forward to seeing you on the other side. If you have any questions, please, please, please email me. Let me know what the questions are. But it's all uploaded. It's all ready to go. As soon as you drop your credit card information, the next page is the login, and then you're in. You can start implementing these strategies today, today, to get to the closing as soon as possible. So does anybody in the chat have any questions for me? Anybody have anything that I didn't cover? Anybody excited? Y'all ready to go? Let's do this. All right. Well, again, if you do have any questions, please get with me. This is how I've managed to buy all 54 properties. Didn't use my license, didn't go after expireds, no driving for dollars. These five systems are going to bring in the hot off market properties to your inbox. All you got to do is go to letsgetrich.tips and get started today. Bye, y'all. Let me know if you have any questions.